You ready? Which one of this score? 42 and then 44. 44, 42? 42 is the first one. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Sure. Yeah. Okay, we'll take it off. Yeah. Hiya folks, uh, thanks for holding on. We've got our head coach, Filippo Giovagnoli here. So um, we're going to open it to TV and online first and then newspapers after that. So if you want to speak to Filippo, can you just raise your hand and we get it underway. Thank you. You have to help me if I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So folks, if you, if you want to speak, can you just raise your hand if you want to speak to Filippo, please? Yeah. Paul O'Hare, go ahead, Paul. Filippo, um, what are your What are your thoughts? You, you were in that game for about 40 minutes and then a couple of minutes of, uh, of mayhem before the break. Yeah, I mean... I think we did well, we did well the first, yeah, like you said, 42 minutes and then there is a little bit of disappointment for this because I think if we were finishing the first half, you know, because we hold it, we, 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 we suffer, of course, like we, we had to suffer, we know, but I think we were decently organized defensively. Um, actually good to organize because they didn't we didn't concede almost one sh one shoot shot to them until the goal that came from you know unfortunately from a corner kick kind of rebound in between our goalie and our defender um, yeah I mean few things went well we try in few occasions to build up like we prepare we try to go to them to high press them when they were building up with the goalie and idea with the, to be man a man we prepared the, the game to be in, in, in uh, with with without the ball to be aggressive really aggressive when their goalie had the ball and defend as a block in the middle third when they were having possession long possession i think this was the plan i think we did quite well well um, of course, then the quality of this fantastic team uh, made the difference without without doubt. It was we knew it, but uh, I want to congratulate my team and all the players uh, for the way that they collaborate, for the way that collaborate defensively, their, their focus, their fourth and everything. Thanks, Paul. Neil O'Riordan, go ahead, Neil. Hi, Filippo. Um, I could just ask, do you know the extent of Patrick McElhenney's injury, and is that the downside from a match like this, that you could lose somebody like him for a game as important as Sunday's? How bad is Patrick McElhenney's injury, and is that a downside from the game? Well, uh, we are evaluating now. I think he has, he felt something to the groin. Um, we're gonna see uh, what happen if you need to if you need a couple of weeks to recover or maybe it's not or maybe it's just felt something he was tired we don't know yet um, we're gonna check uh, of course Pat you know for us is super important player a lot of quality a lot of creativity is the player that can He's a player that can change the game in three seconds with uh, with his quality. Um, 
But let's see, we're going to evaluate and, and see. We know that in this moment we are risking a lot. That's why all the rotations, that, that's why all the substitution. We are trying, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of game. We're going to have a game Sunday, really important. That was our priority for sure. So, but we know that we have to manage the roster really smart. If we want to compete until the end in all the competition, which we are doing. Any, any other injuries from, from tonight? Any other injuries from tonight? Oh, no. It was, uh, Mari was fatigued. That's why, that's why we didn't risk. Um, no, for the rest, no. Thanks, Neil. Anthony Pine, go ahead, Anthony. Hi, right, Filippo. Um, at what point tonight did you have to start thinking about Sunday just in terms of the substitutions that you made and the energy that it took out of the players? Well, I was thinking to Sunday already for, from the first minute, to be honest. Uh, of course, we decide, you prepare a game and you are professional and you, are, you, are, you do your best you know, to face the opponent, which I think we show it. Um, but still, you know, we were coming from a game three days ago, four days ago, and uh, and of course, then uh, around the second half, I start to you know to make substitution, even oriented to the to the next game. And, and what is the plan now? Is it just a case of resting bodies as much as possible before going again on Sunday? Yeah, we, it, this is what we do since probably three, four weeks. We just play, rest, one day preparation, play, rest, one day preparation. It's always like that. Um, it's, it's a little bit frustrating for me because I am a coach that I want to prepare well the games. But uh, if you play in Europe, it's the same in all world. Teams, they have to, they have to sacrifice. They have to do something more. And... Um, but I think we are there. We are competitive. We are we are doing we are doing well, and I think we, you know, we spoke with the players that what was our objective that was of course uh, compete on high level with St. Patrick, um, and this is important, especially mentally. It's important important mentally. The 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 phys the, the the body that recover physically sometimes is easier than recover mentally. So. Um, this was this was what we discussed with the players even before, um, but I think with tonight we did what we we had to do, and and uh, we were competitive. We didn't give up until the end, and uh, I think we had the first opportunity in the game with Pat McLenny, if you remember. So we start really well. Um, I'm happy to be honest with the performance, with what the players did. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. James Rogers, go ahead, James. Hi, Filippo. Just wondering, are there, are there positives you can take from tonight? Obviously, the result wasn't what you wanted, but I thought some of your defenders did well for a long period as well. Yeah, of course. In this kind of games, the defenders, of course, they are under pressure and they always perform. Right? When you play against a team like that, the defenders, they always perform. Um, but there were a few other things that we did well. We were thinking to, to even try to possess, to try to build up in some occasion without panic under pressure. Uh, Arsenal has a statistic on recovering the ball uh, that is under uh, five passes, four passes and a half. So they don't. They are really aggressive going forward. Uh, this is one of their principles. So try to keep the ball and and uh, put them, you know, in co counter time to them make them recover the ball. The ball at the, uh, sooner was one of our objectives. Sometimes we did well. Sometimes we did not well. Uh, but Arsenal is a fantastic team. Is 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 an unbelievable team that that. Uh, is able to possess and control the game with any team in the world, without problem. So, 
we have to be realistic, right? So I think we have to be happy and realistic for uh, what we did in the many moments of the game. Thank you. Anyone else? Neil? Neil O'Reilly, do you want to come back in, Neil? Yeah, sorry, just a, there's a statistic on out there that Dundalk have become the first team in the 11 years of the Europa League not to have committed a foul during the game. Are you surprised by that? <laughs> I, was think, I was talking about that with, uh, with my staff. And uh, yes, our team is so polite. They are so gentlemen. They are so good. They 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 just work hard, and and of course they fight hard. But they're not going to use other other things eventually to stop the opponent. And this make us even you know is another compliment, right? Because no yellow card. If we mold a zero yellow card, uh, I think we even we mold it, We had I don't know how many foul we commit. Let less than that. But in every, in every game, it's like that. But, but it's a good observation, because when you play in Europe, probably sometimes you need to use even some foul with experience to stop the game, to don't let opponent, you know, have the ball for a long time. But it's a really good observation. It's actually, this is a tactical observation, if you want to say that. Who, say, who asked the question? Neil O'Reilly. Okay. Good job, Neil. <laughs> up, there in the corner, up there in the corner, do you see him? Yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> Not my statistic. I only read it, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? No, I think that's us, Filippo. Thanks okay. very much, folks. See you all soon. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Can you imagine?